And we're recording our Zoom call. And now what we're going to do is we are going to start it up on Zoom on uh, Facebook so that everybody there can see it. And now we seem to be running uh, everywhere. It says setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. Just, oh, look, I got wetness on my shoulder here. Look at that. Uh, uh, I had to run some water over my hair because it was getting a little, I need a haircut. If Marjorie is watching, I need a haircut. Desperately need a haircut. Anyway, hi, everybody. This is our pop-up show. God, I love this show. I love the people on this show. They're so nice, and they're so decent, and I really like them all, every single one of them, with the exception of Marjorie, but that's because she's my wife. Anyway, let me um, let me bring these people in. Admit all. There we go. And oh, yeah, ooh, ah, mm. yeah, okay. Uh, and we, we've got a lot of people here. We got uh, Ed Berger. Hello, Ed. That's Edward. right. That's right. Good. That's right. Uh, we got, uh, let's see here, Marjorie Miller, uh, who's hey. a caller on this show I hate. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Len and uh, Charlene and Brian. And uh, a Zoom user, who who we got here? What, what's your name again? John Ewing. John Ewing, and um, uh, and of course Andrew Deutsch. And oh, here's some more people coming through. Here's Charlie Wallace coming through, and here's Paul Eleven coming through, and her good friend Paula Twelve. <laughs> the joke's getting a little tired, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, I'm drinking, I don't know what this coffee is. I put sugar in it, and it's a new coffee I got. And it's a kind of mocha, and it tastes overly sweet. I think maybe it came pre-sweetened. Is that possible? Anyway. Hmm. Oh, John, you're new to this batch, aren't you? Yeah, Alex, and I'm amazed I got through. I've been watching you for months. And um native San Franciscan and used to listen to you back in the day. Yeah, I live in Marin County and enjoy you reminiscing and keeping everybody up to date. It's where really where nice. in where in Marin County? I'm in Novato, Northern Marin. Okay, yeah, Fine. you know um, uh, that. Uh, so, how long have you lived up there? Uh, well, I left the city when I was 21, so I'm yeah. 70 70 now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And so, when did you move back? Um, I'm not in the city now. I'm in Nevada. You're in Nevada, but when did you move back to the area? Um, I'm, I'm missing you on that one. I okay, apologize. Wait, wait, yeah, you you said you moved back, but uh, you live in Nevada, right? Yes, sir. And how long have you lived there? Oh, okay. Thank you. For about 45 years. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, okay. <laughs> You left a long time ago. <laughs> I left a well. I I didn't leave that long time ago. You know, I mean, uh, in comparison to a, a lot of other things. I mean, I went back. I left San Francisco. I left San Francisco. Wound up in New York. Was in New York during the uh, during the seventies, and then I moved back to San Francisco, and then I moved back to New York. Right. So. Um, yeah, and I apologize for my name not being up there. I'm using my phone because I'm still antiquated with technology, but I'm really glad I got on. That's good. You know what might help? Can you turn your phone sideways? Let's see what yeah. happens. Yeah, there we go. That there fills up the picture more. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, there's my wife. Oh, oh. oh yeah, we see her. She's fogged <laughs> out. Hello. Okay, John. <laughs> I wrote your name down here so I'd remember it today. Alex Thanks, Martin. Alex. Why are they uh, and, and I don't have I don't have any pads to write on, so I wrote it on some kind of instructions or something. <laughs> yeah. Alex, Alex, why do you think you ended up in New York? I mean, you see, you seem like such a San Francisco guy. Yeah. Well, it, because there was work here. You know, I couldn't find any more work in San Francisco. Mm. Um, I think there was a an attitude in San Francisco about me. Mm. I was so. Uh, such a competitor, okay, that in mornings I decimated a lot of those people. 
Yeah, you did. And so then when I was out of work, nobody wanted to hire me because they they were glad I wasn't working. That yeah. I wasn't, you know, they didn't have to compete against me. Rather it was either, they, it was either you or man cow. <laughs> what did you say? It was either you or man cow. <laughs> yeah, man cow. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I mean, um, yeah, I, um, but I, yeah, I came back here because I, I, I think it was Shecky who said to me, he said, you should come back here. She said, he said, there are people here who remember you and you can probably get work here. So I hmm. came back and I stayed with my friend, Steve. And after a while, I kept looking for work and I kept hitting up the Sirius XM, Sirius XM, Sirius XM, or it was Sirius at the time. Right. And uh, they kept telling me, we don't have any work. You know, we can't do, we don't have the money to hire you. And I went, well, I said, uh, I said, finally, I said, I'll make you a deal. I'll work for free. And they went, really? I said, yeah. I said, that sounds like a good deal. <laughs> and I said, no, no shit. And what happened was, is I told them I'll do it. If you just give me the advertising revenue. In other words, yeah. we have sell the advertising time. And I, it, it, I never could sell time and I never would have sold time. But after a while, they said to me, you know, we're feeling guilty about not paying you. Uh, what say we renegotiate the deal? We give you X number of dollars. And I'll tell you what a good outfit it was at the time. They said to me, how much do you want? And I said, I figured I'd highball them a little bit because they didn't have a lot of money. And I said, uh, $75,000 a year, because I wanted the job. I didn't want to overpay. And the guy looked back at me and said, would you take 100? <laughs> you know, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That was the best anybody's treated me in this business. But all those people in serious are gone, and all the assholes are there now. So, you know, look. Oh, hey, I better not say that. They might want to hire me back. Huh? Yeah. Anyway. I, I dropped Sirius XM a year or so ago. It's just not that great. What? Marjorie, you're on Marjorie, mute. Marjorie's saying something. You're, you're on mute, Marjorie. Marjorie, you're on mute. Marjorie, you're on mute. She's having a rant over there. We can't hear her. Yeah. Zoom user, is his thing is going all over the place, and it's making me dizzy. Uh, Zoom, <laughs> Zoom user? Yeah, yeah. The new, the new oh, guy. The new guy. <laughs> Zoom user, his name is. Oh, well, it's because the, the second person pops in and out. It's getting oh, sorry. Now his picture's <laughs> on uh, like this. Yeah, just take the picture of yourself, John. That might be best because you what you're doing is you've got that that wonderful Zoom uh, backdrop. Uh, <laughs> and, how and, do I take a picture? Just yeah, you're just fine. You're fine. Yeah, just, just if you can turn yeah. off the blur, you'd be better. If you turned off the background blur, can you turn off the black back background blur? It's try saying that. Yeah, I feel so antiquated here. Sorry, man. Yeah. Keep your phone in one place. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We're, 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 he's getting used to it. Be nice to him. <laughs> Hello, Charlene. How are you? I'm good. good. I'm good. I just came off a great weekend. I had a great surprise. Opened the door, and there was my little grandbabies. Oh, who I want to show you since Mike always shows his granddaughter. I want to show my <laughs> grandkids. Oops, that wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's a mine. Put it closer to the camera. Put it closer uh, to the where's camera. Where's the heck's the camera? There, there you go. <laughs> there. Oh, they're adorable. Uh, they're yeah. adorable. <laughs> so I had to brag because Mike's always bragging. So it's my turn to brag. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Brian, Adrian has some competition. Uh, <laughs> She is not my granddaughter. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't a, I don't want to be a grandfather for a long time. No kidding. Yeah. Well, I, I've been told the best thing to be is a grandfather or a grandmother because yeah. you, you can love and, and and put all the emotion you have towards those kids just like you would when you had had the your those your kids. And then they go home and you don't have to dictate, deal with them, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, am I right about that, Charlene? It's not that you dislike him or anything, but it's a, it's it's a hands-on. I love you. I love you. I love you. But then eventually they go home, and you don't have to deal with it. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. It's, it's all love. It's all love and no discipline. 
Yeah. Yeah. Rarely yeah. discipline. It's all I love. I agree with you, Alex. Yeah. Mostly love. <laughs> who, who agreed with me? Uh, I did. I did. Why? Do you have grandchildren? I have three. Yeah. And and do you agree that it's better? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. My, and mine are all, mine's what, 15, 7, and almost 2. 15, 7, and almost 2. Well, you have a 15-year-old grand, what? Grandson, God? yeah. So grandson. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So how old are you? Uh, me? Yeah. Same as you. <laughs> <laughs> Very few people are the same as me. I'll be this year I'll be 58. To be 58? Yeah. Wow, and you got a, a 15, what a grown up grandson? He's not grown up, he's 15. Oh, mm -hmm. That's getting there. Yeah, my uh when I got married, I inherited two two daughters. Uh, I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. They're yeah. mine. I got the receipts to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> How many times have you been married? Once. Once? Oh, okay. Yeah. So apparently almost, she was married. Years. At, she was married at least twice, right? Yeah. Yeah. She was married before. Okay. Yeah. This and, will be, uh, I think this year is 29 years married. Yeah. Like, wow. wow. Mar Marjorie's, uh, you know, um, been married before. <gasps> I'm her, I'm your what? Your third husband? But turn right, your, he's your muted husband. You're muted. You're muted again. <laughs> Marjorie, well, hold on a second. Marjorie, turn, unmute yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm your fourth wife, so there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your wife number four. And I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep going, you know. <laughs> well, my first wife I married because she was pregnant. And then on our First wedding night, said. on our wedding night, she had a miscarriage. That's the story of my life. All wow. right. The the second one was Ronnie. That was she was a really very special person. I, you know, uh, and we miss her dearly. Um, and then there's uh there's uh there's Susan, and I hardly ever talk to Susan, you know. <laughs> uh, she wrote me a nasty thing on facebook or something one day a couple of weeks ago and that's a lot first time i've heard of her in years that's right and then i married you and i never hear from you either <laughs> you saved the best for last alex that's yeah, right you're right i did I which did. one was schmoody schmoody oh schmoody was a girlfriend yeah yeah that was kathleen uh we we no. come, what wasn't that the one that, that lives in New Mexico, Nevada? No, no that was that was Xanthi. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, you can't keep up Jesus with Will you people Anthony. stop it? So I had a good social life. I'm going to need a program here. <laughs> what? I'm going to need a program to figure out all these women. <laughs> okay, I was married to Linda. She was a, a short marriage because. She didn't stay pregnant. Then uh, uh, the next one was was Ronnie, who you all know from the night yeah. show, who I used to do videos with every week. And she was, you know, she was special. And I was a terrible husband. I I cheated on her like crazy, you know. Uh, Marjorie keeps saying, I never would have liked you then. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. Have. No, you wouldn't have. You had to wait till I, you know. I'm in the last years of my life and there's nothing else. So I'm going to be, I'm not going to cheat. Right. With who, who wants to cheat with me at my age? Anyway. With what? What are you going to cheat with? <laughs> <laughs> I went to the, I went to the urologist today and he said, so how have you been feeling? And I said, well, outside of the fact that my penis has become a vestigial organ. <laughs> I said, I'm just fine. He says, yeah, well, that happens, you know, like, okay, you know, I'm a urologist and that happens. And I went, okay, I'm, that happens. And I, uh, I, I said, uh, uh, but I have many good years with that piece of equipment and I'm not crying about it. You know, I mean, eventually it was going to wear out, you know, or something was going to happen. <laughs> and said, then you guys decided to beat up on my prostate. And that pretty much put an end to it. And he said, "Yeah, he said I'm look. I looked at it today, 
he said he used the sonogram he said uh, it's uh, there's not much of it left there it's kind of <laughs> dissipated it's kind of loosened up and whatever so whatever so anyway uh, that that's a and then there was uh, there was uh, susan who was my third wife uh she spoke um perfect yiddish <laughs> yeah she and she was she was a, a child star in the yiddish theater here in new york you know she had a singing voice and she was really terrific you know and quite gorgeous then <laughs> now she weighs about 500 pounds but you know something else and uh, so that that's a, that's a history of my married life. And then the, there were the girlfriends, and those are the ones you heard about in San Francisco. Because once I I divorced uh, um, Susan or got separated from Susan, I just started dating like crazy and talking about it on the air. You know, I had this date last night, and this happened, and that happened. You know, and sometimes I would give my girlfriends funny little names rather than say their real name on the air. So I would call one Schmoody and another one. Uh, uh, did I call you Marjorie? Did I call you girlfriend? No. Who did I call girlfriend? You I called, called her girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah, you I called her her girlfriend. Her. Yeah. yeah, that's all you said was girlfriend. Yeah, I was girlfriend. Yeah, uh, and I got I got that kind of. You know where I got girlfriend from it was Meryl Marco Letterman's uh, former uh, beau. Girlfriend. Well, he lived with her for ten years. You know? Oh, I don't know. Is that, does, they never get married. You never get married, but doesn't that constitute a major relationship? Yeah, like a marriage. You know. But anyway, she used, law. she used to refer yeah. to Dave in interviews that I would do her uh, with her as boyfriend, mm -hmm. uh, and then later on TV boy. Um. So anyway, I so I I came up with girlfriend for you, but. Uh, I had uh, Schmoody, and I had uh, I fit Fish Princess. You forgot Fish Princess, <laughs> yeah. And everybody thought they didn't know why I called her Fish Princess. So, you know, is there a smell or something? You know, and I went, no, no, no. She actually owned a fish out organ a company on Fisherman's Wharf, and they distributed fish and crabs and things like that. She didn't have any crabs, by the way. I want you. <laughs> And uh, she was uh, that uh, Marjorie doesn't even know her of her. She was she was a short uh, fling, as it were. But anyway, and uh, let me see. Oh, wait a minute. Here, here comes uh, a, a woman I never met in the old days. But if I had, I would have thought she was terrific. Paul Levin. Hello, Paul. Oh, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. That's well, good. I, think, I think Marjorie will agree. Isn't she terrific? Marjorie? Yeah, I love her. She's I mean, my best. Marjorie has all these friends. Her sorority sisters. Now, this is Paula is an elementary and high school friend. I, she oh, goes back more. More, okay, all right. Uh, I knew Marjorie when she was a, a widow girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was she cute? She was adorable. Yeah, she. I see pictures of her, and I go, "Yeah, I would, I would have done that." You know. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, really, Marjorie, you were you were my type. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna, that's a bad quote, Alex. <laughs> what do you mean it's a bad quote? What she I, she she's still no no no. I mean I mean I've I've heard that recently on the air about you're not my type. I don't I don't know if anybody oh, else oh, well, that. Well, that was that was that was Trump saying that uh, uh -huh, the woman yeah. the, 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 Jean Carroll uh, yeah. Jean Carroll wasn't his type and then when I, I de uh, told to identify the women in a picture he identified right. E. Jean Carroll as oh that's Marla yeah uh -huh. well I guess it must have been his type okay you know and then hello to the lovely and attractive uh Bell of the South Mandy <laughs> how y'all doing there Mandy we're good. How are you? Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Can and, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, almost uh, mini pearl sounding. <laughs> God no. And then, God no. And of course, Vernon Nunn down there in the bluegrass state of Kentucky, right? Right. How's things in Kentucky these days? 
Well, we started our every two year legislative session. And of course the Republicans with their supermajority are trying to cram a bunch of crap down our throat. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, uh, and the Democrats aren't trying to shove anything down anybody's throat on the other hand. They don't have the power to do anything. Really? You know, we never hear much about Kentucky. I mean, yes, we, did. we huh? heard it, Alex, we heard it on that thing about the, the five smallest states, with no one in it. No, what, what, what Kentucky was not one of them. I thought no, it Kentucky was. has 3.1 million. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not, we, she, we looked at a thing. It was the five smallest populous states in the union or something like that. No, you, Kentucky was not one of them. But you never hear much about a Kentucky, though. You never hear like, you know, there's no executions going on. There's no uh, uh, horrible things that people are doing to people. I mean, how how are how are um, how, how's uh, uh, what do you call it? The abortion clinics doing there? They haven't got a chance, right? No, they're all shut down. They're, they're all, all shut down. down. All shut down. Isn't that well, a shame? Isn't that a shame? There's nothing better than a dead baby, you know. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, these are these are right to life people who want those dead babies. Yeah, you know, I yeah, right. And uh um oh hello Charlie. Hi. What's the t-shirt today? Come to the math side. We have pie. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you find these things? I hunt them down. You what? I hunt them down on the internet. You hunt them down. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, so anyway, I, no, today I have my uh, yearly uh, urology session with my urologist. And he seemed really rushed. You know, doctors today are like having to rub their belly and pat their head at the same time they've got their own office, you know? They got people in different rooms and they're going back and forth between the different rooms. And that's the only way they can make a living today. So. But I like this guy. He's the only urologist I ever liked. But I, I wondered, Prince Charles, or King Charles, now, I keep calling him Prince Charles. King Charles uh, went into the hospital for a prostate situation. Uh, apparently it wasn't cancer, it wasn't prostate cancer. So we know what it was. He was getting up 20 times a night to go to the Royal toilet. Um, yeah. So he probably had to have something done about it, which I think they could do a thing called a terp where they shave down the prostate a little bit and help. Yeah. It, well, it does. They put you to sleep. Okay. <laughs> you know, um, one of my volunteers at Habitat was having a procedure done because of his prostate squeezing on the urethra, and they yeah. went in there and put a stent in there to kind of open it up. Oh, they do that too? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that might have been what they did to, to Charles, but I, all I was thinking of is that there was somebody along the line that had to stick his finger up his ass. <laughs> and and I'm wondering how that fits because I was looking at a thing the other day again on YouTube about the things the queen was never able to do. And one of them was she could never have anybody touch her because it's against whatever to touch the queen or the king in this case. So where does sticking his finger up your ass fit in that scenario? Times have changed, Alex. What is happening? And, and how did they how did they check the queen's prostate? <laughs> but but if it if it hurts them if that procedure hurts them is that a royal pain in the ass? <laughs> well done, well done. Very good. Very good. On top. Bye bye. <laughs> Brian, you should come on as my writer. You know. <laughs> Andrew it sounded like and I something. Would kill it. That's what sounds sounded like Oops. something Andrew would say. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm, I'm going to say that I was texting Brian, but I'd be lying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, so uh, uh, anybody been doing anything interesting? Watching to raise eighty million dollars to help a friend. 
You what? <laughs> I'm trying to raise eighty-eight million dollars to help out an old friend of mine. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, I'm... <laughs> eighty-three point three million dollars. No, I'm, I'm trying to get a little extra for me. If we're going to have a grift, I'm going to make some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Alex, you were saying they they have the five million already. Yeah. Yeah, they got the five million from the original judgment because they had to put it in escrow, I think. Yep. Uh, and then when the case, all the case has been, you know, appealed and Appeal, so on, appealed, right. they, they have the money to yeah, give okay. her or to give back to Trump if he if he prevails. But he had to put he had to put in the uh, put it in escrow. So I would imagine he has to do the same thing with the eighty three three million. He does. Yes, yeah. He does. That's why I'm helping. I'm and raising. you know where he's getting it from? His, his idiot followers, his, the cult. His followers taking, you know, you know. Um, in fact, from he, put, Phil. He, put, he put a thing on Phil. Yeah, he put a thing <laughs> on on Truth Social, appealing to people to send him money to help him out. Isn't he a billionaire? That's <laughs> what I heard. Okay. Well, you heard it through Trump, Alex. Yeah. yeah. Well, the the bankruptcy court might make Giuliani sue him for legal fees to help pay his yeah. his people. Ah. I understand that the that the legal system can take can take it right out of his bank account. He yeah. doesn't, it, which is amazing. Yeah. So so the money will leave his bank account. Is that money in his bank account? Yeah. Then he'll have There's, to sell he'll have to sell a big building, I guess. Well, to not, to not get political, but the. Uh, the person who's monitoring Trump's business, the, the retired judge who's doing that, found all sorts of discrepancies, in, in, including illegal money parking with fake organizations that loan money that they didn't loan. I'm shocked. Oh. So they're, they're, they're discovering more and more fraud, even while he was being monitored, they were continuing to do it. Are we yeah. getting political here? No, it's just, it's just okay. hilarious. I mean, the, guy, the guy's just proving who he is. No, but he's only proving it to you and me. He's not proving it to the to these idiots who send him as long, money. As long as the independents recognize it, it's just fine. Yeah. The cult doesn't need to change. There's enough people not completely in the cult. Yeah. Nikki Haley's supporters are all... Uh, and the women. Up. And the women. Yeah. Uh, uh, Roberta Kaplan came out smiling, and, and um, I, I hope that the women are paying attention. Yeah. Who's Roberta There's, Kaplan? Eugene Carroll's lawyer. Oh, her lawyer. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. The lawyer's very happy. I mean, how much money did she make out of this? You know, uh, and and it, this is a larger judgment than the other one because Trump was just stupid. You know, if you're accused of doing something, don't do it again, right? Yeah. As a result of losing. And he, she, the next day, filed suit against him again. But you it know? was again and again and again. Yeah, well, it, was, it, it was because she was sick and tired of this thing going never on. Never stopped. We're he never supposed stopped. to hear it by the end of the month, which is two days from now. Well, he said about judgment. the end of the month. Yeah, the, two days, two days left to hear yeah. how many hundred million dollars he's going to have to pay the state of New York. Three hundred and some million dollars. No, that's what they're asking. That didn't include punitive. It's probably going to be more than that. My guess is 500 plus. You think so? Well, I, I, my uneducated guess, I can't. Then you're stop him something. from doing business in New York. Yeah, well, Ever. that's the that's the beauty of the 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 person who's been monitoring his business is giving them the fuel to say no, he can't do business here anymore because even under indictment, in court, found guilty, continues to to defraud the, the state oh. of New York. Let's get off politics, but John, yeah. did you have anything you want? You jump in anytime you want to, John. It's always a new person who just kind of sits there and doesn't know when it's his turn, and mm -hmm. it's a discussion, you know. You're, You're on muted, mute. John. You're muted, John. Still he, muted. He's still, he's still <laughs> muted. <laughs> I, need, I need to make a sign. Oh, okay. has to unmute. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your help there, brother. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, the microphone. so, you know, anytime you want to join in, you feel <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'd rather be on my laptop. So this is kind of arduous right now. Yeah. 
Uh, but it's sure fun for us. So thank you. Yeah. Oh, no, we love having you here. Uh, Andrew? Yes. Uh, that's a. I love those microphones. Oh, do you? So I put it back there. <laughs> in case it's in case I have to hold a press conference. <laughs> oh, there. Oh. there we go. Oh, I oh I see. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So anyway, oh here comes Jeff Stein. Hold on a second. Now we hope, speaking we hope, of people on mute. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Let's see if it happens if he does okay. Let me see here. He's been fixing it the last couple of nights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, it's a day to day proposition. And uh, Jeffrey's uh -oh. up in Connecticut. And uh -oh. he's muted. He's not him, coming on, though. But his picture's not coming on. Should I worry about this? Oh, one? there he is. There there he is. is. How you doing, guys? Good, good. Uh, perfect. You can't see your chin. And there's yeah, no echo. Move your camera so we can see your whole face. Yeah, you. trying to get everything. Because otherwise it looks like Kilroy was here. <laughs> Does anybody remember Pretty Kilroy nice. was here? Oh, yeah. When oh, yeah. I was a kid, every it was like, you know, when you talk about tagging today where guys go and draw these. By the way, I saw a building tagged, the whole side of it, from edge to edge. As I went down to the doctor today. Yeah. And they have one mm -hmm. of these scaffolds on it. So the people up there, they just went up there and overnight just put these uh, this giant tag on there. But uh, the old tagging was when I was a kid and everywhere there would be like people who drew Kilroy was here. And um, I just wonder where that began. Was that World War II? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Really? Something in the yeah. war, right? Yeah, because I was Kilroy was here. Anyway, um, there, there's a tiger over in San Jose area, and it's look L O O K, and he puts it like on a pillar. The L on one pillar, there's another pillar L O O K. So Adrian, whenever she sees him, she goes, "Daddy, look! <laughs> Daddy, look!" <laughs> <laughs> he tags everywhere in San Jose. Yeah, but I mean, uh, uh, well, somebody tagged our building, but we erased it. Because I when think, you get the when you get these scaffolds up in front of these buildings at night, these people can climb up there and do a tag yeah. in the building. And supposedly, uh, Alex, what's the word tag? Two, I know what the, what the soldiers would go through at, when they would clear out of town. Mm -hmm. The soldiers would paint that to say we've been here. Really? Yeah, yeah. that was. Yeah, you know, I, I learned that years ago. I don't know if it's if it's accurate, but that was. Uh, that I heard was what, what vets told me. Oh, uh, what uh, what I got to say about Paula to Paula? What did you ask? You asked. Uh, I was asking. I mean, I know graffiti, but uh, the word "cag" is new to me. Where'd that well, come that's from? That's graffiti. It's it's, yeah. it's like if like uh, Keith Haring used to go around the subways and quickly in seconds put up a drawing. Well, I, you know? I certainly know. I, know, I certainly when know. When a graffiti. gang does graffiti, or, or, they call it tagging. It's gang gang graffiti is tagging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. There there you go. So would Keith oh, Haring would Keith Haring be tagging? Not according to that definition. Because he wasn't part of a gang. It's considered tagging if it's putting gang marks, marking your territory. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't you just have to pee to do that? <laughs> I, 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 ask your urologist, he'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so uh, what's what's new in our life, Marjorie? Anything that you want to report? Not much. Oh, oh yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, we went out with our friends. They got married, which I'm very wow. happy about because now they can be just as miserable as I am. <laughs> and uh, they, uh, we went out to dinner, out to lunch, yes. and he went to get the car, and he brought the car up to the front, and Marjorie gets in, and I start getting in, and he takes off. <laughs> And my foot is like on the other, on the, still on the ground. And <clears throat> I'm yelling, stop the car. And he can't hear me. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, finally, he did stop the car. And I managed to put my foot in. there you are. Yeah. But that was my excitement for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but it made me feel good that I could run that fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hopping on one foot. Huh? <laughs> hopping on one foot. That's basically what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, you know, I, I'm, I mean, something terrible could have happened. I mean, and he was just kept going. He didn't, he didn't like slow down. He was speeding up. And finally, his wife looked over at him. I say his wife because they're now married and says, hey, I think Alex has still got one leg out the door. <laughs> and, oh, whoops. And he stops. So that was my excitement for the weekend. Is. I didn't know you're going outside at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, after that incident, I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Uh, maybe I won't give you a ride. We were going to walk up there, but we had somebody pick us up because it was it's so windy. it was pouring and windy here and windy and cold. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible, I know. just terrible. How's everything? Yes, Thursday. What? Th th Thursday and Friday is supposed to be atmospheric river again in San Jose it's in the Bay Area. Thursday river. and Friday. What is an atmospheric river? A lot of the rain. A lot wind. of rain. A lot of rain. Okay. It's consistent it's rain. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I mean, there was one other thing that uh, I, I talked about. I can't remember what it is now. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, so I, yeah, I have a question for Andrew, actually. Yeah. What what actually what exactly is lake effect? What what is that? So so the, Which we oh, suffer from you and I. Yeah. <laughs> we, lake Erie is a, a round sort of body of water full of moisture. When the, when the Arctic comes from the northwest to the southeast, it crosses the lake, circles picking up moisture from the lake and dumping it from the east side of Cleveland down to Akron. And if you go further east, the further east you go, the more snow. So like Erie, Pennsylvania, Buffalo, they get the worst of it. We're the beginning of it. That was a masterful explanation. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. I asked you. the right, I asked hey, the right by, person. By the way, to yeah. tie all that other stuff together, Alex, years ago, I got really mad because a friend of mine wrote his name, peed his name in the snow and from the front yard. And he said, don't worry about it. It'll dissipate. Why are you so mad? I said, because it's in my wife's handwriting. I told that joke on the night show about a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, you, know, you told yes. it on this show. Oh, That's why I repeated it. I oh, it really? Did I do it on this it's show? It's not a callback. Oh, okay. Because my <laughs> mind... My, Last my, week. Uh, <laughs> no, it's my it's my daughter's handwriting is what the yeah. what what the joke was as I tell it, but I just changed it. <laughs> it works either way. Yeah. yeah, but when you have a daughter, you don't say that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a difference. So funny. <laughs> or in my case, with three daughters. Do you know. find that as exactly. a father, Brian Brian is over in his fifties now, and he had a, a his first child. What in his late forties? Would we say forty? 48 48 when he had his first kid and so he's a brand new he's a basically a a, 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 a late life father and uh he just you know he, he you you adore that daughter i mean you just really i don't know if you spoil her but you know yeah he spoils her Try, I try not to <laughs> he tries to make the other dads jealous that they're not as good with their kids but you know, usually people by the first time they become fathers, they're in their twenties, maybe early thirties if they if they hold off a lot. And it it must have really been something. Did you feel you had to adapt to it, or did you just come natural to you? Uh, uh, Tiffany's has too, so I knew that part of it was fine. But then, you know, you just like like the whole scenario is, you know, when you have a rough childhood, you want to give your child everything that you didn't have. So for me, I, I always thought about it and always said, you know, I want to be able to be, you know, very independent and stable with money because then I have things that to reward. Your, your audio is going out. Yeah. Driving, yeah. And you're frozen. Maybe he's dead. But then you know, those rewards can be taken back if you never know. Yeah, but I mean, you—you—he really, I think, enjoyed being a father. You know, and that's uh, and and you're at a time in your life where you can really enjoy it too. You know, it's really wonderful. Now, your wife's name is Tiffany. No, you're she. You're not no married wife. to her. You're not married She's to my, the woman. You're shacked, woman, you're shacked up with. <laughs> At the moment, yes. Yeah, is is Tiffany. 
but she's Vietnamese. What kind of a Vietnamese name is Tiffany? No, that's her Americanized name. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Her real name is Tui Tien. What is it? Tui Tien. Tui Tien. T T H U Y T I E N. Oh, T Tien. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's and pretty. She, uh, Adrian had another dance competition, only solo, on Saturday in San Mateo, and she got another scholarship. That's amazing. What is but this scholarship got a, for? This Run. this scholarship is for the nationals. This group, like like last two weeks ago, was a different group called Hollywood Connection. This one is called Platinum, and they go all around the U.S. And then, but their nationals is in Chicago. So I had to break the news to her: we're not going to Chicago for her scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> San Diego, the other one's San Diego, so that one's doable, but not Chicago. Well, what's she getting scholarships for? Because she's she's barely in school. She's only like second or third yeah, grade. Right? Yeah, I know. But the dance, yeah, they they. Yeah, but they, they, you know, the Nationals, they want the best dancers. So when they go to each city, they yeah. pick the best dancers to give them the free scholarship. People still have to pay for hotel and travel. But, you know, they want the dancers, the best dancers there. So that's how they. Yeah. I mean, it's a dancer of the year nomination, how they call it for this one. So that sounds really cool. But there's like 200 kids that will be there. For it. Well, he's a very so, proud father. And I really I have to ask you. Uh, how do you get that pole around? Oh, <laughs> she watches this show later, so just let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I want a pole. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean the thing is that uh, that uh, uh, she's you know she's really a ham. She's really a she's. No, uh, yeah, she gets my she gets my sense of humor. So, yeah, uh, yeah, she. Well, I can't hear him. Uh -oh. He froze up again. Yeah. Or he's dead again. <laughs> uh, Are you yeah. going through the Altamont, Brian? He's driving. <laughs> so yeah. proud of his daughter, he just can't put words together. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing Marjorie and I have never had the thing of having our children. You've never, she's never had any children and I haven't had any children either. And I don't think that's why we found each other. I don't think that was the basis of our getting together, but it helped, didn't it? In a way. Not I mean, really. Well, I mean, if I'd come to you and I'd been married and I had a couple of kids, it, it wouldn't seem as comfortable to you as me not having any kids. Why, why would that change anything? And I could have kids. That wasn't the problem. I just I didn't want to have them by anybody that I didn't like. You know, I mean, uh, people just have kids like crazy. Well, who do we hear about? Somebody who said they had like eight kids or something. We were watching on television the other day. I'm going, how do you do that? Vietnamese families are usually very big. And two of my friends, and they're married. They have 15. They're 15 brothers and sisters. Oh. And and they're married. So then there's 30 of their aunts and uncles. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Well, how many times has Tiffany been married? Once. Once. Okay. And then do you and you're not married and, yet. And he's pa he passed away. And I got married once, but she's still alive, but in Vegas. So yeah. She probably has the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what happens in Vegas? <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's. I'm glad I move out is fine. He died, so that's fine. You know, it's it's a nice fresh start. Yeah, I guess you know, but I mean, how how yeah, how old was he if he died? Was he older? Was he younger? Yeah, he was. He was a couple years older than me, and he had uh, pancreatic cancer, Jeez, so he went pretty quick. That's the word. Yeah. That's the. And he was age. And then he he always tried to get out of making child support payments. And then we got a letter in the mail said he had pancreatic cancer, stage four, or whatever. And we're like, yeah, right. And then all of a sudden we had to see him in court, and he looked like an alien. He was so shrunken up. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 the one you don't want to you don't want to hear that. That's that's yeah. not good. Yeah, because that's that's the worst. I mean, that's what Ronnie had. Yeah. And then she she but she survived that. But, you know, I mean, once you have that kind of cancer, it can go other places, and, you know. Um, 
but it was it was a a pain in the a pretty terrible pretty terrible uh, but, uh, uh no there's one other thing i want oh yeah you know what happened here yesterday so after we have this lunch they come back here uh because he has some great weed okay so <laughs> they come back here isn't it nice i can say that now you know right had some great weed well good for you you had some great weed yesterday anyway oh uh, so we come back here and one thing leads to another, and he, he's trying to watch a game on his iPhone. Well, she wants to watch the game. Well, he's watching it on the iPhone or something. And well, well, hold on, I just go on and I go. I have many ways of getting things on my TV set. And there we had the uh, Ravens versus the Chiefs, right? Yeah. Yep. How about me sounding like Mr. Sports Guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we're sitting there watching it, and I'm thinking to myself, I've never watched football in this apartment. In fact, I've never sat and watched a football game in my life. I think once maybe there was a Super Bowl, but I didn't pay any attention to it. And I was at a Super Bowl party where I put into the, you know, into the, into the uh, pool or whatever, because you get a lot of money if you win the Squares. pool. Yeah. Well, whatever. And so I, I don't know, I, I took a choice of who was going to win or lose or whatever the thing was. Mm -hmm. And guess who won? Alex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and people hated me for it because they knew how I didn't know anything about football. And I said, well, you know, if you, if you don't know anything about football, then you just take a chance. And I took a chance and I was right. Do you watch football at all, Mandy? Hmm? sorry yeah she, just, she watches college too yeah so i just mainly watch college now but uh i haven't really been i've been kind of keeping up with the pro but not really really well this, I, I mean i'm keeping up with it on like social media i haven't watched the games this one was very special because i guess they had hired taylor swift to come by one more time <laughs> yeah. coming by to watch her boyfriend play yeah <laughs> But what's terrible about it is she's a distraction. And it's not her fault. They're no. the ones that keep pointing the camera at her. Listen, anything I can put, any fault I can lie at the feet of Taylor Swift, I will do. Hey. Huh? Taylor, Taylor Swift. Don't join in with all the MAGA people that hate her. Come on, Alex. The MAGA people hate Taylor Swift? Yes. Why? Of course. Why? Because They're going to hate her because she. Young people are registered. They prefer she's, Taylor yes. takes, takes her time. She's she's also, you know, endorsed Biden basically. So well that's like fine. I, but I still don't have to like her as a performer, do I? Okay. No, so, if you so, don't like that music. Well, her music her is lukewarm. It doesn't say anything. Yeah, it says her I just like this boyfriend. It says her look at me. Is very established. Her boyfriend is very established. One of the best tight end, not I shouldn't say tight ends. That sounds really bad. Okay, <laughs> but he's one of the best football players in his position, and he just they won two Super Bowls and all this stuff, MVP and all this stuff, and all the Swifties say, "Oh, look what Taylor Swift has done to her boyfriend's career. It's so great." No, that's a myth. That's what the media is saying. Nobody, nobody, I don't think anybody's really saying does. that. No, I don't think anybody thinks that. Okay, I'll send stuff to you. He was already a superstar before he I even met her. So give me a break. I, know. I like the Swift yes. Taylor though. They get this. They get the suit done quickly. I don't see what the phone is. Mm. No, is I'm serious. I don't even know who that they, is. They say that she's she's got three hundred twelve million dollars of revenue since she started dating him. Good. She's a certified billionaire now just from her music. So give me a break. Yeah. I just think it's like a, I don't think it's anything she's doing. It's this, everybody just has to chat about yeah. them is she, and make drama out of nothing. Oh, it's like, is, no. is she supposed to be sexy? She is not sexy. Necessarily. <laughs> she's not. She's cute. Charlie's a Swifty. I've been a Swifty <laughs> all year since she started dating Trevor. Oh, I see. Got it. Jealous? 
What? Oh, oh me? Yeah. No, him. Oh. <laughs> I actually one, time, one time years ago, I actually did have a Facebook status. This was back when my kids listened to her, like when she, I guess it was like she'd been around for a few years, but it was like maybe her second or third album. And I just remember I had a status or you know, I, I said something on Facebook, like maybe Taylor should write a song that says, maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Every time she, think, she has gone up, through a lot of song. Well, yeah. I, I, I was mentioning, well, I shouldn't even talk, talk about this. I was, <laughs> well, you are. I, well, I was mentioning Marjorie that she probably gives bad head. You know, that's probably <laughs> why these things don't last. Well, you don't know. <laughs> Why would you assume that? Because if if, if let's say Ta I went with Taylor Swift, that's I mean let's face it that's that's going you're going to have to imagine a lot here. I can. Uh, but if I were going with everybody, Taylor, put on your imagination caps. <laughs> where's, where's the tin foil? She really wasn't good in the sack. I think I'd dump her. Yeah. You know? Well, then she's been dumped. She's definitely been yeah, dumped. So why has she been dumped? She doesn't give good head. <laughs> oh, God. Well, after what you just told us about your prostate, does that even matter? No, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> doesn't matter to me, Len. It just, I would say that it would matter to somebody else. I'm now just started thinking about King Charles with that urologist with his finger. <laughs> his maybe, maybe she misspells names in the snow. There oh, you go. oh, could be. Could be. No, I just I don't find her sexy. I, I she's too might be just high maintenance or something. Maybe she's very yeah. clingy. You know, once she starts dating you, maybe she's like obsessed. She? She's like 77 now, isn't she? No, she's 33. Give me a break. She's 33 and and she's never come close to getting married. She never had a relationship oh, that last so are you gonna be that kind of guy, Alex? He sure is. I am that kind of guy, yes. <laughs> What do you mean? Am I going to be that kind of guy? That I mean it like oh, so if she's not married by the time she's thirty three, there must be something wrong with her. No, Maybe she's I'm, picky. I'm just, I'm just saying that you know. I mean, how old were you when you were first married? Me? Yeah, twenty seven. Okay, how old were you, uh, Paula, when you were first married? Oh wow, different <laughs> age. I wasn't. I wasn't even twenty one. Yeah. How how, how how old were you when you first married? 21. Charlene, well, what's your, what's how your old were you now? when you first married? What's 20, your point? How much? 26. I rest my case. <laughs> About what? My what sister was 34. All right, all right. Back. I'll take it back. I'll give uh, <laughs> Taylor Swift a little pass on this. Maybe she. Uh, the reason she isn't married is she's a lesbian. Do you <laughs> care? <laughs> Do we really care? That kind of guy. He's that kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make the point that the media is it's like up, the media keeps doing it. They keep feeding into it now because everybody's talking about it. Yeah, but they, uh, you know, enough with her up there watching the game. Who cares? She's not controlling the cameras. No, she's not controlling. Yeah, man, they're the right. ones that are pointing the camera up there. Well, you know, she's maybe, she's going she's, for maybe boyfriend. When up there in that box, if she could just be topless, they wouldn't take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> we are not her target audience. No. <laughs> Let's put it like that. I'm so not her target audience. I can't tell you the name of That's the true. song That's she true. wrote. Yep. I'll, I'll bet Mandy can. Give us give, give us the name of a song. Absolutely. I, can. I can name a lot of songs. I like her. I think she's a good songwriter and Me performer. Too. Okay, and I, and, and I I agree. I heard some of her early work. I don't know about the later work, but and she knows how to write a song to appeal to a certain age. Mm -hmm. No question about that. And she's very good. I lived that song "You Belong with Me" in high school sixty years. And ago. There you, there you go, there you go, there you go. How long she been around? <laughs> she she, she's been around twenty years. Twenty years, yeah. I never knew she we started would out when she was a teenager, and my daughter liked her. You know, yeah. like my kids liked her because she was like a teen. She yeah, started I out. Like yeah, I liked her death metal. Well, didn't she start as a country <laughs> singer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of, and she crossed over, and and stopped kind of doing country, or are her songs still country flavored? Kinda, they can bubblegum. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bubble gum flavor. If I went to one of her concerts, would I fall asleep? <laughs> you need no. earplugs you because might. you have the screaming. Yeah. yeah. There'd be too much screaming. Yeah. Didn't she sell her whole catalog and then she's re-recording it or something? She didn't sell oh, it. She just bought. wasn't allowed. She wanted to have ownership, complete ownership. So she that's she's like a genius to me. She's yeah. you know, what she did is she she these guys these this company bought up all her albums. Okay. Publishing. Uh and they have the rights to the albums. So yeah, what she fair. did is she went and re-recorded all those albums. Yeah, yeah. So, like Sinatra, oddly enough, did something like that years ago when he went over to reprise his own label and he couldn't get the, he didn't have the rights to his songs over at Capitol. So what he did was a whole album recording all his big Capitol hits <clears throat> and identically. I mean, he got Nelson Riddle to write the same arrangements and so on. <clears throat> and you really very hard to tell the difference. But he did that because, uh, you know. They were they were screwing him over. What they would do is they would lower the price on his entire catalog so that the repeats catalog didn't make a lot of money because they had to lower their rates. Oh. Yeah, but so it's kind of messy. So what Taylor Swift did was took a took a page out of that book and just said, you know, here's what I'm going to do. You know, did anybody see last week's uh, pop up after it was over? Oh, I'm, because I saw you. We were, we were, of course, we had a problem. There was no internet here, right? And, and uh, all I could use was my iPad because I'd go on the, uh, I'd go on the internet via my phone's account. All right, and um, so we did it through there, and I had it record onto the cloud at Zoom. Mm -hmm. Somehow, what they recorded was a show. I think it did. Huh? I think I saw. It. Everybody had their own picture as they were talking. Oh. And, uh, oh. and I'm just wondering if anybody saw it, because I'd like to know what you thought of that. Yes. Paula saw herself. Yes. How about you, um, uh, Vernon? I saw it, and, and I can put that uh, view up right now when I'm doing this. Instead of being on the gallery, mm -hmm. it was on speaker. And if you put it on speaker, whoever mm -hmm. starts talking, then their picture fills the screen. Oh, yeah. really? I I, yeah. I just have never done that because this is the way I like it to go out. You know, I was wondering why it recorded that way. And if you could decide not to record that way. You, you, it shouldn't have done that. You can you can change that in the settings as to how it's recording. Yeah. I can't seem to change it. It always comes up as speaker and I have to change it to gallery in order to get the gallery. View. Yeah, but that's for you and what you see on the screen. What they actually recorded was the whole thing in that way, where it's this and then it's that. And it was kind of good in a way because while somebody was still talking, it would go to a shot of somebody else listening to them. So it really kind of worked. I thought it worked kind of nicely, but I wouldn't want Most people said they'd rather have it this way. If, yeah. if you go, you have to log in from the browser, Alex, to the settings of Zoom, log into your Zoom account. Uh -huh. In the settings there under recording, you can make those choices. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. Because, I mean, uh, but that was, it, it was interesting. It was strange. I looked at it and I went, I didn't record it this way. You know, I had all these people in the same place. So if you go to the help menu, it'll teach you about Lake Effect Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, that... I love you, Andrew. You are... that's, a, that's, a, that's another call back. So, Marjorie, that was free. I'm not I, sure. I just want to ask Marjorie this little checkup. Do you still love me today? I love you very much, my darling. Okay. There you go. I wanted to make, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the edge of your screen, and I go to the edge of mine. <laughs> yeah, the other way. The yeah, other way, middle. Alex. I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> on, on, my phone, on my phone, Marjorie and Alex are kissing uh, Edward Berger. Yes. <laughs> I was going to mention that, but I don't know if any, 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 any saw the same <laughs> thing. See, you see the same thing. Yeah. I just well, have Edward, it in block. Love. What I just like blocks like two on each like two and there's just rows of two people. Yeah, on the iPad. that's how it is on the iPad. 
Well, it all depends on how much you uh, you uh, spread it out or you watch yeah. it. You can you can change it. Uh, oh, there. See, it's turned sideways like that. We get more of a picture of you. You know, instead of this, that that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> then I got to look over here. Yeah, I get that, at that camera. At. Yeah, see that when you do your camera like that next week, then we get a whole lot like big shot. Okay. More Mandy. Yeah, more Mandy. More, more <laughs> Mandy, more Mandy, more Mandy. <laughs> oh boy, I love you people. I really Mandy, 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 Mandy. I was Mandy. waiting for that to happen. <laughs> I really have a nice time with this show. Uh, you know, it's not it like it's not like the other one where some nights I go, oh, I got to do that show tonight. You know, <laughs> this is always like, oh, good. I get to talk to these people again. You know, what a wonderful group of human beings you are. Here, here. How appreciated yes, you are on my part. You know, uh, and I appreciate Marjorie. Only because if I don't, she won't feed me dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is for dinner? True, true. What is it? We, we, you have. By the way, speaking of Marjorie, I was creeper. When I was there in in New York, mm -hmm. I did a pic. I took a picture of a picture of her. Remember, Alex? You were like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Nothing." <laughs> <laughs> I took I took a couple of pictures of the pictures you have in your studio oh. when she was young because she was so but pretty. I, but I, I like, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, they're okay. like the ones when she was young. She was gorgeous. Well, it's yeah. one, hold on a second. Let me go get it. She's so pretty, but she was she was very, very pretty. Hey, she's pretty she's nice. Nice. Yeah, but I was being straight up creeper. She is. <laughs> Absolutely. Throw <laughs> with you. There's one where she's like in there's like a tree. No, but so this, hold it up. Does this look like her? Oh wow. Yeah, that's what I did. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? It does. does it, that doesn't look I can't like remember. you. Yeah, that's the one I took a picture of. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? You took a picture of this one, huh? Yeah, like I have it on my phone. Okay. Is that a professional shot, March? Yeah, I did some modeling. It's a modeling shot. Uh, I'm not mm -hmm. a super. Yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> thank you, Marjorie, for being here today. Thank you, Len. Always nice seeing you. Same wallpaper, same person. Right? I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Find another place next week. No, but that <laughs> wallpaper is fine. We have this guy Tony who calls the night show. Had the worst wallpaper. <laughs> I mean, he moved into his basement, so we don't have to see that wallpaper anymore. <laughs> anyway, Charlene, thank you so much for joining us, Brian. Always a pleasure, uh, and uh, uh, John, uh, thank you for joining us today. You didn't say anything, but that's fine. That's I'll get better next time. If you, if you keep calling, eventually you'll start, start joining in, you know. Thank you. You call again. Um, and also, uh, who who just hung up? I don't oh, know. I, oh, no, she's there. Somebody hung up. Say yeah. goodbye. I Brian? Have to Brian? It was a Brian. Brian. It was Brian. 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 Yeah, Brian. once I said goodbye to him, he had no use for me any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Deutsch, always a pleasure to have you here. You are funny, you are smart, uh, and you're everything I'm not. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, Charlie, always good to have you here, in spite of the fact you like Taylor Swift. Uh, and, and Paula, uh, she actually knew a, a Taylor Swift song, or had heard them. <laughs> so I don't. Uh, yeah. And now we can see uh, more of Mandy. That does the camera that way. See, that's the way you should do the camera. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but I, hey, Vernon, down there in Kentucky, thank you so much. You know, but people are all over the place. It's wonderful. She's in Atlanta, and you're in Kentucky, and Paul is in Ohio, and uh, uh, Charlie's in Texas, and Charlene is in California, and. Uh, uh, John is in California. Yeah, where were you again, uh, um, Andrew? I'm I'm in Cleveland. In Cleveland. 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 North of Cleveland. Okay. Uh, Cleveland. We, and Jeffrey's we, from we, Connecticut. The Frisco is in. Thank uh, you. The, Connecticut. The Frisco is near Frisco. Yep. Uh, but don't call it Frisco. And I think probably because we're we're running way over, I should have 
uh, our, our good friend Edward Berger sign us off by saying that's all folks <laughs> thanks everybody <laughs> See you next bye week. have a great bye. week bye.